Hi. So you know I'm a fan of saying it how it is and getting a vlog out when I've learned a new thing. And today I'd like to talk about the conference that I've just been doing today. Yes, it's a Sunday, but I'm away on a family weekend and everyone else is having a sleep. So just a chance to catch up on my Ellis Danlos study. And they were talking about um, from an MCAS perspective, which is mast cell activating syndrome, and those of you in my EDS tribe will know exactly what that's about. So for those who don't, it's basically when you're really sensitive to certain things. It could be nature, it could be um, foods, it could be heat, temperature, um, and it definitely could be smells like me. And I'm super sensitive to fragrances, so to the point where I get quite sick quite quickly and get a headache or sometimes migraines. So the point is, uh, I've had to ask my patients not to wear strong oils or perfumes or fragrances. And they were talking on the conference about being able to say it and hoping that other people won't get offended and how difficult it is to ask people to not do things. So... In a social setting, when I'm with family or friends, I try and move away to the person who's got aftershave or perfume on or ideally not share a car with them um, because it just makes me sick and I will probably feel sick for about 12 hours after that. So I guess it made me realise that we all have things that we don't cope with very well and how hard it is to ask someone if they could not do something or adapt or make an adjustment or an accommodation as it's often called in the workplace. But doing this conference and listening to this talk by one of the community advocates made me realise that most of the time people are really happy to help. And I know if my patients needed something and didn't tell me, I'd be really feel sad about that, that I hadn't set up an environment where they felt like they could say what they need. So I have some patients who don't like the fan, some patients who need things warmer. Well, most people need things warmer than I do. Uh, some patients who also don't like smells. Um, I don't wear strong deodorant. I don't wear oils. I don't wear anything in my hair for that reason um, because I get it. And there are some things that I won't realize. And I should hope that you as patients would always feel like you can tell us exactly what you need. So... Next time someone says, oh, I can't eat that, I'd like to come to dinner, but I'm allergic to that, or I get sick from that, it might have been quite hard for them to even tell you. So I'm having that experience at the moment where I'm having to say to people, would you mind not, not using aftershave because I have to travel with you in a car? Or would you mind if I don't sit next to you? And please don't be offended. It just means that I feel well. It's kind of a win-win, isn't it? Hope that helps someone today to feel confident to say what you need. And um, as always, I'll keep studying and keep sharing.